Okay guys, this is Buck Nasty here, and we're going to be starting a new colony today. I'm going to go ahead and start off by showing everybody the mods I'm running. Holy shit, that's a lot of red. Alright, so here's pretty much a list and a rundown of all the mods that I have running, which as you can see, pretty good bit. Um, I've got some more that, you know, aren't running, but these are the ones that I do have going now. If you want to pause the video and uh check out those or download any of those feel more than welcome to now the key to starting off a good colony um i'm also going to be playing on rough um some challenge really isn't that challenging but extreme is insane so i'm going to be putting it on rough for the first time i haven't played this game since it updated so we're getting i've played since the new alpha 17 update but not since the new update of alpha 17 and we're going to be starting down near the bottom here uh, let's see what do we got marble and limestone isn't that bad um i don't mind picking that one up what was the temperature there same jumps as down here, just a little lower. Yeah, it gets a little bit colder. Average jumps the same. All right, let's see. I, marble, granite, and sandstone. I I tell you what, we're gonna go with this one because I like having wood available pretty easily. But the key to starting off a good colony in RimWorld is definitely your first three characters. Those are super important. And for a lot of different reasons. Um, once you've got your character built, in a, or once you've got your character base built and established, it's kind of like, you know, the structure of your colony or the foundation. So we're going to go for three really good characters. We're also going to be adding speed shirts as soon as we land for those three. We might give everyone speed shirts. I like, I like having on those speed suits. They do a good bit. All right, stab left scar or stab scar left leg. This is going to, it's gonna make a move a little bit slower. But his mining is so crazy high. His intellect is crazy high. Yeah, we're gonna hang with this guy. He's got um, wow. Other than Slowpoke, he in the speed shirt will take care of that. He's got a lot of good things going for him. So let's see if we can get a second person in here. And by the way, if you want to leave your, uh, if you see one of these characters that you'd like to be named after you, leave your name in the comments below, and I'll make sure to get you named as long as the spot's available. And it's gonna be based on first come first serve, just because I have not done a lot with uh. This guy's pretty good too. Uh, lazy, I don't like that. But the psychically dull, that's good. He won't break a lot. His social's pretty good. Construction, cooking are definitely good. Yeah, we're gonna go with him. What's this guy's growing? So we need a grower. Well, no, not necessarily. We need a good shooter. We need somebody who can dome somebody with the rifle that they start out with. Damn, that last guy was pretty good. I'm flipping through too quick. Wow. Okay, hold on. This might be our guy. He's not the best grower. We were kind of hoping for that one. But he can shoot. And his right leg. Okay, this isn't going to be huge because of the speed shirt. And his eyes are fine, his arms are fine, so his shooting is fine. Eyes and arms are apparently all you need in this game to be able to shoot. Apparently standing up doesn't matter that well. That well, that much. Excuse my southern language, because apparently I'm not that... Alright, let's see what we got here. The fuck? I damn near had everybody land in a mountain. Okay, first, before I even let these guys get out, the first thing I'm worried about is where am I going to put my base. Down here is super good, but the only thing about down here, if we create a choke point right here, create our first wall, then over here, if a raid spawns and we don't have turrets, we're fighting immediately. 
same with over here and they get coverage from this mountain um we can mine out probably to here on this mountain take off a lot of this and a little bit of that see if we can find the ancient danger real quick okay so it's gonna be in here too i'm not 100 percent sure this might have yeah this is probably going to have the ancient danger in it and it might have a big area reveal in here somewhere which would really hurt our colony but i like it man i don't know why i like this and we don't even we could go in right here or go in right here where the steel starts see how big of a pocket we got here we're probably gonna re-roll the geysers which is a mod i have um got a pretty good pocket of steel and we've also got one right here which is nice you you really want to have you know a good chunk of it because you go through steel like crazy i've also got one down here how big is this one huh okay this might be our spot let's re-roll these guys or see if we can't get them in better spots Damn, that one was pretty good. Do we have another one close by? Um, we've got four over here. Not really. Let's see if we can't get another one in there. I hate to have it all the way out there. Yeah, that could this one. That might be as good as we can get it. Where the where? It's saying there's another one right around here, but I do not see it. Also, let me cancel this before I forget about it. Okay, where are you? Okay, it's picking up that one. Alright. I hate to just have one. We're gonna reroll some more. Looks like we're gonna only get one to start out with guys and I mean that's not necessarily the worst thing in the world hopefully we'll get up we'll get our power to nuclear or, or yeah nuclear reactors pretty early so let's hope we can get that done the hell is that okay they just threw some random marble in here to kind of screw with us Alright, so this is going to be our main run, as I like to call it. Which is basically, I built a hallway and then bedrooms off of that with rooms off of that that allow me to create workbenches and crafting stations, stuff like that. Alright, now that everybody's out of their pods. the hell is that? Oh, shit. Okay, that's 45 ACP ammo. I don't know what that goes in, honestly. Oh, shit, we've got to have ammo for our guns. Okay. So, this is going to be a lot more complicated than I thought. Alright, let's see if we can get all 51 of these. There we go. I don't know where the other one is, but it found it. Alright, here's our steel. Let's see if we can get all 1170. Yep. Alright, unforbid that. Now let's get our characters armed. Okay, so. Uh, you're gonna be our brawler, sorry, but. That's just what we need you doing. You're definitely not a long shot, and you are guns, our pistol guy. Alright, now I'm gonna build another structure. Um, I don't know what the embrace is for. Allowing shooting. Okay, um. Hmm. We're gonna just do this so our people have somewhere to sleep tonight. Um. 
that is one of your most important things to do right off gate. And I also like to throw up a joy source. And as I said, we will be spawning in uh, the, what are they called? Speed suits, I believe. Spawns are at speed. I think they're down at the bottom. Here we go. Alright, so we need three of these. One, two, three. Ooh, what's a legendary? Um, okay, let everybody grab their guns first. Alright, you're going to get that one. You're going to get that one. And then our main shooter is going to get that one. Alright, we're also going to create our stockpile. It's not going to be big at first because our main thing is getting it indoors. So that's what we're really worried about. Also missed a spot with mining. Alright, so this is where our stockpile will eventually be. But for now, got to work with what we got. Oh crap, I didn't even... Okay. Another thing we want to set up because I forgot completely would be our grow zones, which... We're going to do right here, I guess. Yeah. I hate to lose those berries right off gate, but this is much, much more worth it. And now we've got to set up our work. The work is something you always want to get set up, usually before you unpause the start. But I completely forgot. It just slipped my mind. And now we're setting it up on the fly. And usually, in my opinion, I'll go ahead and do those right off gate because all that stuff I would like done immediately. Wow, is that our best handler? Okay, whatever. Put you two on that because I'm going to need you to kill that cat pretty soon. Alright, mining. Got some miners, got a crafter. Don't really care about art. Um, plant cutting. Where's our growing? Why is this dude our plant cutter? And I'll take that off for now. Alright, let's let them get everything moved real quick. Okay, day one. Got everything set up already. That's what I love about the speed shirts. And now I'll always start with rice. Eventually we'll have cotton, rice, silver, and strawberries. But for now, that is all we are worried about. And while she's setting that up, I'm going to go ahead and expand the stockpile. Alright, there we go. Okay, so right off gate, we've upped our steel, and there's still more out there to be gotten. Let's actually go ahead and wall this in. We're going to put a door here and a door here. And boom, day one, already got our stockpile up and going. Um, I'm going to let them haul everything in, especially steel and stuff, the food, everything. Because this is super important. These are the things that we need in order to stay going. Did he just clean all that? Maybe. Alright, maybe they're done. Alright, let's get the smooth stoning y'all's bedrooms for a minute. Nice job. Hunt is just going ham right now. Alright, so they're going to nap. We're going to leave it on speed four. And to be honest with y'all, since I haven't played with the new update, I am not sure what these things are. Oh, so fuel. Cool. Okay, so right here we've got our fuel, I guess, and then right here is like our stone structure, like these two were added. Um, 
I think this one had like 35,000 hit points. It could take a fucking beating. And on the last colony, we actually had it. Uh, we actually had a good bit of it. So, it worked out well. Alright, now we're going to be building our main structure to protect this. You want to get this down day one, if not day two. Because of, just basically, you're going to get attacked right off the gate. And these embrasures, I've never really tried these. Okay, apparently they don't work like that. Hmm, alright, let's try this. Because I want to try these embrasures, see how they actually work. Um, we're going to do a couple there, a couple there. Do I want to do that? Or do I just want to do like... What if I did that with just doors here? Can I hook a door up? Yeah, okay, so I'll just gotta cancel it first. Alright, we're gonna do that. We're gonna order some plant shopping. And then we're gonna get back to mining. Because once we get done with the mining, that's where we're gonna be really, really set. And honestly, we probably won't ever be done with the mining. This is going to be our... We're going to use it as a fridge, or we're going to use it as a storage spot. It's tough, because they are different. There is a difference between the two. Just not sure which way we want to go right off the gate. Hmm. Alright, let's try this. Let's try... We'll leave this as a storage spot. But we need to get our fridge up ASAP, so what we're going to do is mine that out, mine this out, do I want to make this a fridge or no? Yeah, let's do it, we'll do a 7 by 12 How much wood do we have left? We're down to about 300 wood. Whoa. Okay, we got aluminum already. More steel? Hell yeah. Okay, I was gonna smooth stone this wall, but now it's gotta be mined out because of the... Yeah, okay. We're gonna have to smooth stone some of it. We're gonna run from here to here, here to here, here. Come on, buddy, get back over there. And then we're also gonna put a door here, a wall here, here. We're gonna order some more mining because we want that steel. And we'll eventually put a structure up right there. We're actually going to mine out this pretty good, too. That'll give us a nice little chunk. Let's go ahead and tell them to get that. Hmm. We're going to deconstruct that, that, and that. And then we're going to put power over here and do our, uh, do our, what's it called? Da, 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 da. Our what would you call that? AC unit. Damn, I don't know why that was so hard for me to think of. All right, let's get some more structures going down. Nice. Right now for our power, which, as you can see, the speed suits help a tremendous amount. It's only day two, and we are day three. Is it day three? Yeah, day three. And we're already getting power down. We're going to get our temperature down. Which way? There we go. Oh, let's rotate this. Do, do. 
power, we need some conduits, we're going to put those here, and then we're also going to put, this is the industrial mod, we're going to put, actually we're going to cancel this one, oops, cancel the conduit, whatever, and do that there, you want these technically going, damn, I didn't think about it, the fridge should have gone right here, because we would have had to use less of this, but now we don't, we're going to have to work with what we got, so, right angle there, we're going to bring it down here, oh shit. Alright, let's let them do all that, get that up and going. And see, this is why I like to start off in this biome, because we need wood to fuel our generators at first. Soon we'll have research up and going, it won't be a problem, but for now, this is what we need. Alright, let's create a new stockpile. And this one's going to be food only. And do that, X, 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 X. This one's going to be, well, none of that. We're going to actually allow that. And here we would like our rotten animals. Or not rotten animals, uh, animal corpses. Alright, everybody's getting everything moved super quickly, by the way. Alright, now let's start working on some benches. Benches are the, like, aspect of this game. Um, it's what allow, it allows you to do so much. They all have their own purpose. They all create their own jobs. We're going to just run that all the way down. Alright, so we've got our, is this our stone cutting? Yeah, okay, stone cutting bench there. We need a butcher table there. And then we're going to need our electric stove. And as these get built, I'll explain. Okay, so the electric stove is where you do all your cooking. See, we have food down here, but you don't want them eating raw food. You want them making simple meals at first. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set this up how I would prefer it done the rest of the time. Um, Alright, we do have a cook. We can cook fine meals, so we'll do that until we got about 250 and that looks good and then we'll do lavish meals which okay we don't have a cook that's able to do lavish meals yet and see that's why you put them in this list this order because you want them to okay if they can't do the top one go down if they can't do the next one go down if they can't do the next one go down well simple meals doesn't require anything they can always do that all right we're gonna do this one do forever or no forever and then this they can drop on the floor they don't have to take that back to a refrigerator like they do with the stone works all right apparently we are out of wood so now what i'm going to do is actually before i forget let's go ahead and get all these highlighted there's only two well three Just picking up the same two. Alright. So there were only three of those on the map. Those will create. Oh. Uh, you can deconstruct those and get steel and components. Which components are needed to make all these benches and everything else we're going to make in the future. Alright, guys, get the cutting. We want to get a pretty good wood stockpile up and going. Alright, we got some visitors, nice. Now, usually your first set of visitors, if we would have went ahead and mined out some of this, that stuff goes for pretty high dollar, I'm guessing. So if we would have mined that out, yeah, we could have already had some cash in the bank, but your first visitor is not going to have much. Actually, we'll go ahead and talk to them, because i go ahead and show you all that. They won't have much, they won't... Uh, they won't have much money to give you, even if you did have this stuff. Yeah, 92 bucks. 
So at best, you can only make a purchase or trade with 92 bucks as the exception. All right, we're also gonna, now that we've got our temperature done in our fridge, we're gonna set the temperature in here to, let's see, I believe that was, okay, that's negative 16. We're gonna actually raise it up to, I like to keep it at 30 because that's a little bit, a little bit under freezing, but not much. But you want things frozen. We're also gonna hunt this guy did we go ahead and mark the animal for death? Nope. We will kill the animal that they start us out with, but that's cool because we have a mod on that allows us to kill that animal and it not really upset the person who whose animal it was. All right. The housewives rock. Okay, fuck it. Let's go with it. Yeah, if that's what y'all want to call us, that's fine. Won't cost that long. Kill that fucking turkey in front of you. Yeah, I got a little nervous there. Alright, so we've already got a good bit of uh, limestone. Let's see, is this wood getting hauled in? Okay, that's what they're doing now. And then let's also set some harvesting jobs because right off gate, I like to get the hill root, the berries. Because we don't want anybody coming in and taking this from us. Alright, um, it's super hard to see when you're jumping across the map this fast, but whatever. Holy hell. A lot of rich soil. I've never seen that much rich soil on a map before. And see, we could just go ahead and grab all those berries, actually. Ah, oh, we don't need them. I was going to say, we could go ahead and grab all those berries and have food for the next couple days. Alright, that's the industry mod. As that person picks it, it all gets brought over here and we don't have to worry about hauling it. Alright, butcher table. Do forever. And then take to the best stockpile, because we don't want to be leaving animal meat laying on the ground. Although I'm sure we'll wind up doing it sooner or later. Mad animal. What do we have first? Alright. A turtle. Yeah. Did she have to reload? Okay, she did reload her gun. That's good. But I mean, I didn't think about this with the fucking bullets and stuff. Oh. I don't think that turtle can catch you, Kyle, but whatever, go. All this. Are you coming to hunt that turtle? Harvesting while we're in. No, just haul some wood. Where's our gunner? Alright. Shit. Got the squirrel. Damn, how many bullets do we go through with that? Tell me we, oh God, I was about to say, tell me we did not use all of our bullets. Alright. Nobody's killed that stupid cat yet. Whatever. Alright, so we got plenty of limestone block. That's what we'll be creating our structures out of from now on. Because it's just easier. And then we're going to do a limestone door too. I can give them two different ways to enter and exit. It gives them, you know, just a little bit more speed, I guess. And we're also going to do the floor some more. Let's get some more tilled soil down. And then we'll do a research bench. Research is stupid important in this game. We're going to get some chairs down. Oh yeah, I remember what I was gonna do. Work. Oh, somebody's gotta kill that cat. 
It's eating too much of our food and we don't care about it. Uh, do we want to sell the cat maybe? I'm not sure how much you can get for a cat, so we're going to go ahead and kill it. How much ammo do we have? You went through a pretty good bit of gear. How much ammo are you carrying? 69 bullets. Alright, bonded animals, death, whatever, nobody even cares. Man, Captain, that's just on point with that. Construction is nutty. And do that. Take out the rest of this wall. And then we'll start another hallway. Back here. Let's go by the deep. Alright, now that we got that done, we're gonna go ahead and make our grow zone right there. Oops. Somehow I didn't get it right along there. Alright, let's pray for no ancient danger because ancient danger would be a bad thing right now, especially with our limited amount of bullets. Holy shit, that's a big pocket of steel. Alright, here do we have our first? We haven't gotten our first raid, so it's not really that smart to grab a colonist, but why not? Let's go ahead and get things started with a good jump. Jimmy, oh, she didn't bring any guns with her. Alright. Yeah, we're gonna be spawning in shirts for all of our characters, because they're just a lot of fun. I like to get to the end game as quick as possible and then keep going from there. Oh shit. Just about ready to screw it up and start spawning in bionic parts. And that is one thing I like about having it on dev mode. Um, it's nice to be able to just hand it. Alright guys, that is the time for this episode. I tell you what, let's go ahead and deal with this raid real quick. I know we're going to be running a little late, but this first episode of a new colony, I don't mind running a little late. Alright, we need you to get that on ASAP. Oh, another legendary one. See, we're not going to be spawning these in and selling them, because that's just not the best thing to do right off gate. Like, I mean, that's kind of cheating. We don't want to cheat, but we don't mind taking advantages either. Alright, so we got Captain, we got Captain and Kyle. Captain and Kyle. Kyle and Captain. Kyle B. Captain. We need to name somebody B. Anybody that would like to be named B, definitely let me know in the comments below. I'll be trying to check on these daily, not guaranteeing anything, but. Alright, what are we doing? Oh, damn, he said he had to duck. Damn. Oh, I did not expect for us not to kill him. Honestly, I didn't expect us to get him down that quick either. Whatever. Prisoner ring. We're good with that. Um, where are we going to throw some beds at real quick? Where can we put these? Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 -da. We'll just do them right here for now. I mean, we'll move them here in a second, but for now, let's get that done. Who's our best medic? Alright, looks like it's going to be Hun. She's the best. The three. Oh wait, no, she's not the best captain is. Alright, Captain. Captain be capturing. Oh, sweet, she reloaded her gun on off gate too. Alright, and since we went ahead and grabbed that medicine, we have herbal medicine for him. That's another nice thing to do right off gate. I always like to grab that just so we have, you know, medicine for whoever. Holy shit, how many hit points does that have? 3,000. 
Alright guys, well, that was the end of this episode. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope y'all come back and check out the next episode where hopefully we'll be at in-game material with tons of turnips everywhere and shit. Guys, y'all have a good one. I will see you on the next run.